welcome to our session. I invite you to take a gentle breath in, then fully exhale. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
message of love, a message of peace.
should we all be of strong body? vibration of love as it flows in my body, in the soles of my feet, in the palms of my hands. I bring my attention to witness the energy flowing from the base of my spine to the top of my head, to the stretch of my arms above my head, and 
the motion of the spine with it. As I lower my arms, I bring them together in a prayer position and I witness the zipping up of my energy field. I give thanks to all that we are and all that we are to become, to you, Creator. Yesterday I did a circle uh, somewhere with a friend and I started by chanting mantras and we opened up for people if they wanted to say something and one person said to me I have a need to sing in my own language And we did actually sing in Hebrew most of the songs afterwards. But it got me thinking. It got me thinking, can we recognize a prayer if it doesn't have the exact uh, feeling that we've had when we pray? You know, there was a woman there sitting listening to me when I am praying my deepest prayer my most most intimate and deep prayer in the language that I've learned since I was a child you know I've always known the mantras more than I've known the Jewish prayers this is just the way I was raised I was wondering, can I listen to someone else's prayer and recognize the prayer? Or am I bound to accepting a prayer only when it fits my own system? It's something important to think about because if I am limited in my capacity to pray, you know, then something is holding me back. Because if I'm connected to the energy of all that is, anything and everything can be a prayer. Every question that goes in my mind about me, myself, life, can be a prayer. Whether I use high words or beautiful music, or I just witness a question and then witness an answer without words. What are the other ways we pray and we don't recognize that it's a prayer. Every time we ask for help, that's a prayer. Every time we go and look for guidance, that is a prayer. Even if it's when, do you know where is that street? That's a prayer. Because what is the prayer? The prayer is my communication with the energy of all that is. So, if I knew Swahili, I would pray in Swahili. If I knew German, I would pray in German. What languages do you pray? And in what languages are you uncomfortable? Try to pray in those languages. 
see what a new transformed relationship you have with them. Our first prayer in life, usually, in, in ways of words, is Papa and Mama. Try that in all the languages. <laughs> See if you can pray. See if you can recognize that in everything you say, in everything you do, in everything you act, you you are um, gathering to use strength, energy. By every action I do, I am gathering grace. Then hopefully we, we use this grace for a positive outcome. Sometimes we do it wrong, you know, and we make mistakes. Can we pray after that or are we too ashamed? question can we pray always or are there times where we feel we are not worthy of a good prayer just something to think about enjoy your day tomorrow will be the last session for the week see you